Guns of Icarus Online is a new title coming on March 31st, where you have a giant airship with four people on it, one guy flying, three guys crewing, and you're fighting an AI director instead of playing ships, giant bosses against you, as you try to take down objectives, so destroy bases, uh, capture convoys, set up ambushes, and everything you do will feed into a world map, you know, where it's MMO rich. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I guess we'll just, uh, do you mind if I just jump right into it, or yeah. is this running? Yeah. Okay. Right, let's see. Um, we need someone to play, I guess? Or? Um, yeah, if you want to give it a try, because, uh, because I, I can't do both. So. Alright, let's see. Apologize, I'm a, I'm a terrible cameraman, but we'll try it out. Alright, so. And if you just want to, you know, you can talk, you can narrate what you're doing, or give no idea. Alright, so right now I'm hopping on the helm, uh, I'm taking control of the ship. The three people around me are my crew members, so we're going to be using the guns, uh, repairing everything, keeping the engines working. And for this map, we're trying to defend this giant structure in the middle, while wiping out all their resources in these drills. So you can hop out now. So um, what is the scale of the battles on in these maps? I, I played all of Guns of Icarus. So, so it's uh, up to four player ships on one side, and the AI director doesn't have that limitation. They can be sending an armada versus you. They can be sending bosses that are ma uh, many times more massive than your ship. It is fleets and fleets of planes. I see. And is there a risk to reward style? Uh, I think like it's better to defeat and go against higher higher yeah. one yeah. bows, or is it? So you can control the difficulty going in. You can say, hey, you know, I want to play on novice or casual, or go all the way up to hell mode, and you'll get more points if you're playing on the higher difficulties. So it makes it important to say, hey, what can I handle? What limit can I push myself to? And the AI director is going to help with that as well. If you're just breezing through hell, it's going to say, all right, more ships, more enemies. We're going to ramp this up. Nice. So, so it adjusts to uh, to the opponent then. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. The most important part is no two uh, games are going to be the same. So if I play this map again. You can have completely different lighting situations. I can face completely different enemy types, and I can face them in completely different ways. I might not have a boss. I might have like storms of ships. I might have very few ships and just a bunch of planes bombing me. Yeah. What is your favorite role? Uh, pilot, but that's because I'm a control freak. Yeah. Um, I love taking the helm, barking orders, and just basically having a say in pretty much everything. But we have people who are just some of the best engineers out there. Like they're just yeah. intensely focused and have great time managing. Yeah. Yeah. And then some guys, they like guns, and they're gunners, and they blow things up. I had actually played the uh, original one like a few weeks back with uh, my friends because I, I knew this was coming out. And uh, we had not played before, but we, but, so we filled every role except for the pilot. He just guided, a good pilot really can guide even people that know what's going on. And I was really impressed with that because the communication is, it's, it's like, there, I, can, I can't think of another game that it, their communication is more important than this because, you know, like, a group that doesn't, the game coordinate just, just burns, and burns a little crisp. Yeah, no, and it's actually my favorite, one of my favorite parts about our community is the people who are the best pilots, the best captains, they all are nice because they have to be. You can't be like, you know, I'm the best guy in the world and I just make everyone around me feel terrible because then you have no crew and you are the worst. Yeah, and I, the, the community's really like been like open arms. Like, like they, this guy, this is a stranger, the pilot, he taught us and he loved it, you know. We, we ended up, we even took down, you know, we were the cause of taking down an enemy ship once or twice and, uh, and he thought that was just funny as hell because, you know, there's other guys been playing for a long yes. time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, great so leadership can work. And if you, I mean, yeah. that's always the thing. If you get a team that's willing to communicate, you can do so much with it. Yeah. Uh, we had one guy, and he exclusively played with novice players. He's like, listen, I'm max level. I only want to play with novice players. Because he found it hilarious to be lower, uh, higher tier guys. He's like, listen, you might have thousands of hours, but I can make a new crew do anything I need them to. Yeah, so that's not like a fantastic next challenge for, you know, the, for the person who's done it all to take, you know. That's pretty cool. Any new, uh, any new weapons we should know about? Right yeah, so there's uh, six new weapons, uh, one for every faction. So there's uh, Tesla guns, there's lens arrays which fire lasers, there's heavy mine launchers, there's the cavitation gun which fires a miniature black hole. Crushing ships into it. That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, there's the. I keep calling it the missile circus because this is what it was originally. Um, 
and it fires just a storm of missiles. Nice. And then there's the uh, gas can, which fires a debilitating cloud, basically crippling any enemy that gets stuck in it. So, do you have a personal favorite? Um, the lens array. It just, it's such solid well, actually, fire, and I like it because of a pilot. Because you know, when you hold it down, it doesn't move as much. So you really have to use teamwork and coordinate with the pilot. And say, hey, I need a little more right. I need a little easier to doing this. So here's how it is. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. So when's this game supposed to come out? March 31st. Oh, no, that's it close. Is. Yeah, it is. So it's been two and a half years to get to this point. It has been a lot of stress, blood, sweat, and tears. So we're here, and I don't think we can be more excited than the office right now. Nice. Well, that is, uh, to come out, uh, the 31st, you said? Yep. That's pretty soon. All right, well, thank you. And, uh,